here with Reaction, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, how are you? Great to see you, Senator. All right, first of all, great job yesterday. Um, that's why Alan Dershowitz says you were one of the best debaters, students he's ever had in his Harvard Law class. But in all seriousness here, they have done everything they can do to obstruct James yes. Comer's investigation into the Biden family. This is, a, this is a witness that the FBI paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to in the past for intel. They've had this now for years. Why have they sat on it? Well, I believe because they're covering up. Look, the, the FBI at that hearing yesterday, that deputy director, I asked him directly, did they have, did, did the 1023 allege that Biden had received a, a, a personal bribe of $5 million? He refused to answer. I asked him, will, he, will the FBI give the 1023 to the Senate Judiciary Committee? He refused to answer. I asked him, is it accurate that there are 17 voice recordings of this Burisma official, 15 talking to Hunter Biden, two talking to Joe Biden? He refused to answer. I asked him, does the FBI have those 17 voice recordings? He refused to answer. I asked him, will the FBI give to the Senate Judiciary Committee those 17 voice recordings so we can assess for ourselves? He refused to answer. They are utterly and completely stonewalling. And what's important to know, there's no legal impediment to his answering my question. There's no legal barrier. He's simply sitting there with that smug smirk on his face because the FBI senior leadership believes they're unaccountable. They're not accountable to Congress. They're not accountable to the American people. And these allegations, if true, Joe Biden should be impeached. He should be removed from office. He should be prosecuted. And he should go to prison. You know, if you look at, if you look at this recent indictment after the Mar-a-Lago raid, I mean, this was done what, seven, eight months after the special counsel was appointed. They, they yeah. moved at warp speed to get this done. They've had Hunter's laptop for all these years. We know of low-hanging fruit in terms of, of issues of drug use and crime, et cetera, et cetera. But don't we need a full accounting, Senator? How much money did the Biden family do in business with China, yes. Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and a dozen other countries? What do we know about these LLCs that the... House Oversight Committee has discovered. You know, why did it take so long to get the suspicious activity reports? Why is Director Ray, well, you know, why does it take a threat of contempt of Congress to get him to cooperate with the committee that's charged with oversight on these very matters? Look, part of the reason that the FBI and the DOJ can be so contemptuous of the American people is, is they believe they will not be called to account. Senate Democrats certainly don't care about the answers. They don't care whether it is true or not that Joe Biden received a $5 million bribe from a foreign national. Not a single Senate Democrat asked about that. Senate Democrats will not hold a single hearing on that question. And they know that the corporate media will, will cover it up and hide. You mentioned none of the corporate media even mentioned the allegations. When, when, when Joe Biden was asked at a press conference about it, he laughed and said, where's the money? You know what? Al Capone said the same thing. He's mocking the American people. And, and, and let me point something else out. Listen, I don't know whether it is true or false that Biden, in fact, took this bribe. But do you know who knows to 100 percent certainty? Joe Biden. And if it's false, he could call on the FBI, he could direct the FBI, hand over the, the, the 1023, hand over the 17 voice recordings, because they will exonerate me. They will demonstrate my innocence. He's not doing that. Instead, his henchmen at DOJ are stonewalling. I asked the deputy director, did you do anything to investigate these credible allegations from a trusted informant? He refused to answer that question as well. This is a rogue agency that is thoroughly politicized. It is thoroughly weaponized. And, and I got to say, look, you contrast that with the Trump indictment, which is utter and complete garbage. And they issue the Trump indictment as this news about Joe Biden was breaking. And compare and contrast the two. With the Trump indictment, there's a complete and utter double standard. If you're going to indict someone for having classified documents, how about Joe Biden and the classified documents he had stuck in just about every orifice of his body? He had stuck in a garage next to his old Corvette. How about Hillary Clinton? Nope, they won't indict them. Why? 
because they're on the team. Trump is their enemy. And, and, and I believe to indict a former president or sitting president, the threshold should be very, very high. You know what kind of conduct you should need to indict a, a sitting president or a former president? Something on the order of taking a personal bribe of $5 million from a foreign national. That meets the threshold. This classified stuff does not. Senator, we need that information. We need to know how much money this family did with every one yes. of these countries and whether or not maybe that's why China got away with spying on us. Maybe that's why yeah. they get away with uh, aggressive uh, maneuvers against our own fighter jets in international airspace and international waterways with our Navy. Uh, frightening time. Senator Cruz, great job, by the way, yesterday. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.